What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to get high resolution map images in SketchUp using Placemaker and Near Map. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so first off, as we've discussed before, Placemaker is a powerful location generation extension for SketchUp. It basically allows you to generate buildings, roads, and other information associated with places with a single click. So you can see how this is an image that I've created of Denver using Placemaker. And I think it might have taken me two clicks to create all of this. So you can see how this is really powerful. It's great for any kind of like geolocation modeling or let's say you needed to build a building in downtown Denver. You could use this to bring in uh, geographical context really easily. So it is a paid extension as is the near map imagery. So if that's something you're not interested in, you should probably just move on to another video. This could be very helpful, especially for design professionals looking for up to date and high resolution images of locations within SketchUp. The other thing to note is to get the high resolution images we're going to talk about, you need to have a current license for Placemaker. If you're looking to purchase a Placemaker license, you can get one at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash Placemaker. That is an affiliate link. So as many of you know, the resolution of the base map images that you can bring in within SketchUp is really kind of a problem. And so what I'm going to do initially, just to give you kind of an idea, is I'm going to bring in a map of of the area where the where the SketchUp base camp is going to be this year. And so you can see if I bring this location in, so if I grab it and bring it in using the SketchUp location tool, it really comes in at a very, very low resolution. So you can see how as I zoom in, um, when I start to get to any level of detail at all, the imagery just isn't very good period. And so up until now you either had to just live with the low resolution images or you could try to do some folk, funky photo editing and stitching and working around and kind of try to get your map data in that way. So the good news about this is that Placemaker now offers these near map tiles that can be brought in quickly and easily. And so to start off you can purchase those near map tiles by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash near map and it is worth noting that sometimes those do go on sale. So they're on sale for right now. But um, you can bring those in by going to the sketchupessentials.com slash near map. And that is also an affiliate link. And uh, you can scroll down and you can click the button for purchase now to purchase different tiles. And you can see how there's a note down below for the estimated size of the tiles that come in. So there is a cost associated with the providers of this high resolution map imagery. So um, that cost costs money in order to get that data from them. And uh, they use that to constantly update these. So like for example, you can actually do a search on the near map website and you can search and see when the last time was that they brought in new data. So you can see how even in this location in Palm Springs, which isn't necessarily the uh, isn't necessarily the biggest urban area. You can see how it's still been updated four times in the last couple years. That's most likely going to be more up to date than Google's data. And so if you do decide to purchase those, you can just click on the purchase now button. And when you do that, you just go in here and when you click the checkout button, make sure to enter the email address associated with your placemaker license. So that will apply the credits to your placemaker license within SketchUp. There's two things we can do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the digital globe imagery. So you get a certain amount of digital globe imagery that uh, you can bring in within SketchUp as well. So near map is the ultra high resolution stuff. And then digital globe is more the um, digital globe is a lower resolution, but still better than the SketchUp location provider map data. And so when you bring that in, you can basically bring these in at different zoom levels and basically whenever you do the zoom levels like let's say for example I wanted to bring in the digital globe data which is uh, the medium resolution imagery I would click on this then I would click on the button to import it's gonna show me how many tile credits would be used if we did this right now so I'm gonna go ahead and click download and what that's gonna do is that's gonna take a second but that's gonna bring that higher resolution imagery in here so you can see how when we did this our image is definitely much improved over the SketchUp image so like for example this whole resort right now looks a lot better than it did before 
Um, so you can definitely bring in that higher resolution or medium resolution imagery in order to increase the quality. A certain number of those is actually included within Placemaker. However, if you want the ultra high resolution imagery, you need to click the drop down and click on near map. And so let's take a look at a couple of those options real quick. So you have zoom levels for low, medium, high, and max. And that's basically it telling you um, how many tiles and how much high resolution imagery is gonna be used. So for example, if I was to click on low, I'll just click this button right here. It would tell me that in order to update the current selection, which is this whole box, you would use 16 tile credits. However, if I was to bring this up to something like high resolution and click on this, you can see what this would do is this would use something like 169 tile credits. And if you were to bring it to the max resolution, if I was to click right here, this would use 676 tile credits. And so what we would do in this case is we'd want to be smart with the way that we bring that in. So for example, right now, what I would want to do is for the whole thing, let's say I wanted to bring in the near map, um, higher resolution stuff for the whole thing. Um, well, generally speaking, you're only gonna need the super high resolution stuff for a certain area. So in this case, I would probably want the super high resolution around my building itself. But let's say I wanted some better context around here. Um, I would go ahead and click on this whole thing. Then I would bring in the low resolution imagery and I would just click this button. When you do this, you can click the download button and it'll, it'll use 16 of your tile credits to bring that in. And you can see how this basically breaks this up into a grid in order to bring that imagery in. And so as you watch, you can see how that takes a little while to bring that in. But you can see how even this is even higher resolution than what we had in here before. So this could be really good. I mean, right here, you can already see some detail on the islands and everything else in this parking area over here. But let's say we wanted to bring something in for the overall building. Well, instead of using those tiles for this whole thing, what I would do is I would right click and I would unlock this. And I would come in here and I would actually draw a box around the resort. So in this case, the resort itself is gonna be about this size. And so once I've done this, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click, and I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna put this in a group. So that way we can see that this is going to basically apply this to this face right here. And it's worth watching when you do this in order to make sure that the right face you have in here is selected. I think this is a little bit of a workaround. I'm not sure if it's generally accepted the way that I'm doing it, but it should work. You can see how by doing this, if I bring in the maximum imagery right here, it's gonna use up 160 credits. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna click the download button. And you can see how what that does is that's basically bringing these tiles in with the different images. And you can see how this takes a while because these are pretty high resolution and uh, it takes a while to download all that data. But you can see how it's basically coming in here and it's updating these as we go. So you just have to kind of be patient and wait for a little while. You can kind of see them loading in as it goes. All right, and so as you can see, once we did this, this actually comes in with the real high resolution imagery. So you can see how with this near map high resolution imagery, um, you can actually take a look at the border of this space that we created and you can see the difference between the trees over here and the islands over here and the trees over here. So as you can see, this near map imagery is really high resolution. You can get a lot of detail and it's fairly up to date as well. So you can use this for uh, any kind of like geographical context modeling or anything else that you need to do within SketchUp. So if you're looking for some high resolution imagery, um, you can see how you can uh, you can purchase those tiles and then you can use them smartly. You can bring in some medium resolution imagery for the area around the area where you're directly working and then you can bring in the super high resolution imagery for the actual area where you're working. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Have you been looking for a way to get high resolution images into your SketchUp location models? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.